This is a special feature on tongue tie and phrenotomy in animals. There is little information about tongue tie in animals. The studies found are in Anatolian shepherd dogs. Three dogs were checked for excessive drooling and poor weight gain. Two of the dogs, seven to eight months old, were full brothers and the younger dog was a half-sister. They all had the same sire. The dogs were unable to protrude their tongues and the tip of the tongue was notched in a deep W shape. Upon attempted protrusion, the tongue deviated downwards. A family history was found to be a strong factor in this incidence of tongue tie. There were no cases found of other associated orofacial abnormalities. On examination, there was a thin tissue band under the tongue and this band extended to the gingiva of the mandibular incisors, that is, the gums of the lower teeth. A frenuloplasty was done and immediately following the procedure, the tongue was more mobile and in follow-up, the dogs used their tongues normally and could protrude their tongues when panting. They gained weight and weighed almost as much as their healthy siblings. In all cases, the notched appearance did remain. Another study focused on underlying causes of tongue tie, also in Anatolian shepherd dogs. The frenula contained strands of skeletal muscle within which was found alpha-B crystalline immunoreactivity. The researchers then considered that the occurrence of ankyloglossia in the dog may be caused by a delay in or interference with apoptosis in the skeletal fibers of the frenulum. During the first few weeks of fetal life, the tongue is fully attached to the floor of the mouth with a membrane along the midline most of this membrane disappears through apoptosis and the skeletal muscle tissue is resorbed in the remodeling process. Ankyloglossia is very rare in dogs and apparently much more common in newborn humans. Theoretically, this may be because humans have been able to find more creative ways of surviving with an oral handicap which is vitally involved in feeding and survival. So in summary, in dogs there are factors which appear to support the familial pattern. Another interesting point is that in dogs, just as in humans, feeding, sucking, licking and swallowing are affected. But in addition, dogs may experience difficulties with thermal regulation, as much of their heat control is via vigorous panting with full exposure of the tongue. Most significant, the dogs in the first study attained improved lingual function after phrenotomy.